Hello and welcome. In today's video I want to talk about the CEH certification. CEH stands for Certified Ethical Hacker and it's one of the most recognized and valued IT certifications today. Before we get into what this certification is really about and what value it provides to you as an employee and to potential employers, if you don't mind hitting that like button for my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, I would really appreciate it. Just in case you're interested in the curriculum of the CEH certification and what is needed for the exam, I will link to a video up here please check it out. But in this video here right now, we're just talking about the certification itself. So CEH stands for Certified Ethical Hacker. And what really is a Certified Ethical Hacker? Well, a Certified Ethical Hacker is really a hacker that uses exactly the same tools as a criminal type of hacker. The same tools, the same procedures, you go after the same areas of technology, but you are the ethical hacker. So you are actually doing this with the permission of a company. You are doing this with the permission of an organization because they want to find out if their systems are really secure. So here's an example. You know cybercrime is out of control. It's the year 2021. You probably heard that this year we had the SolarWinds hack. Kaseya, another IT industry player, got hacked as well. Then we had the Colonial Pipeline, which uh, was impacted by ransomware. And the entire supply chain for gasoline for the East Coast was impacted with gasoline prices skyrocketing. That's just some of those examples. So companies are spending a lot of money on information security. They hire information security professionals. They spend a lot of money not just on firewalls and other hardware. They buy software. They have intrusion detection systems. They have honeypots. They have malware protection and and and. There are so many tools and applications out there. It's crazy. And you would think, okay, now we have all this deployed. Are we secure? Can we go home and just sleep at night knowing that our networks are secure? Well, and you might think, okay, there's no way anyone can break into this. But then deep down, you might wonder, hmm, what if the other ones got hacked as well? They also thought they were secure. So that's really the, the portion that makes it so crazy these days. You, you spend a lot of money on information security technology, you have the right people hired, and you still don't know if you are secure. And that's where ethical hacking comes into play. So companies want to hire ethical hackers. They want these ethical hackers to try to break into the networks, try to steal data, try to put backdoors in and whatever else, to really just kick the tires against everything they have. And then they want these ethical hackers to document the entire process, potentially provide already the solutions to close these backdoors and loopholes and security vulnerabilities. So that's really what an ethical hacker does. And uh, companies are paying a lot of money for these individuals. So there's a lot of uh, a job security in one way, high salaries or high consulting fees are possible. And it's an entire market within information security. So it's not just a role that somebody does on the side. No, no. An ethical hacker is more a full-time profession because you really need to understand how the entire system infrastructure works. You need to be able to work through these processes. You use automation to break into networks. And of course, you need to know really what to do once you're inside a system. So now let's look at the CEH certification. So first of all, who's behind this certification? Many companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Cisco, they create their own certification programs. They make sure that the programs are challenging, that the exams are difficult to pass and that they really represent a value. And then you have third party organizations like let's say CompTIA or in this case the EC Council, the organization behind the CEH certification. The CE Council is a member based organization and they really stand behind this certification, not just this one, they have several. They really want to make sure that the exam certification is challenging. It reflects what's current in technology. It's currently used by hackers. And um, then they also want to make sure that they work with the appropriate companies within the IT industry so that they're also meeting their requirements for this type of certification. Because for Microsoft, it doesn't necessarily make sense to create their own security certification. Microsoft makes operating systems. They make applications. They are cloud service providers. So that's where their certification programs are are at home. But they are not really an information security company that would make its own certification. So that's where these third party organizations come in and they create these certifications. They take the input from companies like Amazon, Microsoft and many, many others. So then this company really has the appropriate procedures in place. They make sure that the accreditation
accredited training centers are appeasing to the uh, high standards that they have. And then the individuals that apply for these certifications and want to take the exams also meet certain requirements. So as an example, there is an application fee that you have to pay that is non-refundable just to take the exam. So that is not the exam fee, it's an application fee. The exam itself is made of 125 questions. You have a four hour window and it's not just uh, radio buttons and checkbox type of questions. So no, there are also certain scenarios in there where you have to go through and work your way through those scenarios. So it's not just easily uh, clicking here and there a little bit. They really make it challenging. So that's really what makes the value of a certification. You have a good governing body like here the EC Council. You have the appropriate certification with the CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker. You make sure that this value that the certification represents is well known within the industry. You coordinate with other partners, with vendors, with other organizations within the industry. So there's really a lot of value that this organization provides. For you as the employee obtaining this certification, the value is there that you know, okay, this is a challenging certification. Not everyone can obtain it and it is industry recognized. For employers, the value is there. They know that these people really went through the process to obtaining that knowledge. They have work experience or they went through an accredited training center course to obtain the certification. So when they hire somebody that they know, that person knows their stuff. It's not just somebody pretending to know their stuff. So it's critical and companies really want to rest assured that when you go to work as a certified ethical hacker that you really find everything that you really make those networks and the applications and the infrastructure secure. So that's really where it comes into play and I think when you look at the CEH certification you recognize the value, you recognize the hard work that has gone into this. So I hope this gives you a good idea about the CEH certification. Please check out my channel because I will have other videos related to the CEH certification. We'll talk about salaries, we talk about the curriculum and how you can obtain the knowledge to pass the exam. This is it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.